Twice each month, St. Mary's Medical Center offers a series of three affordable vascular screenings to the community to help identify potential cardiovascular problems early before they become serious. These screenings for abdominal aortic aneurysm, carotid artery disease, and peripheral vascular disease may be purchased for $45 per test or $99 for all three. Interventional radiologist Dr. Lee Heichel answers some of the most frequently asked questions about these screenings, beginning with, what is an abdominal aortic aneurysm, or AAA? Abdominal aortic aneurysm is a uh, uh, dilation of the abdominal aorta, which is the largest artery in your abdomen. There's a weakness in the wall, and it dilates. And if it dilates too much, then the risk of rupture um, uh, becomes real and that is potentially a life-threatening uh, condition. If you have an abdominal aortic aneurysm that goes untreated, it potentially could uh, enlarge and rupture. Therefore, treatment is, is critical. What's involved in a screening test for AAA? The screening for abdominal aortic aneurysm is, is a very uh, uh, straightforward, easy process. It's not painful and uh, it's done with an ultrasound machine uh, by certified ultrasound t technologists and uh, they look in your abdomen uh, with an ultrasound uh, probe and uh, develop images that allows us to see your aorta to see if it's dilated or not. If an aneurysm is discovered, how can it be treated? Treatment could be something as simple as um, having your blood pressure uh, treated to, it can be within normal limits uh, or in a normal range uh, and then also we do um, uh, follow-up surveillance uh, imaging to make sure it's not growing. If it grows beyond a certain point, then um, more aggressive treatments uh, with surgery or uh, stents or stent grafts uh, may be uh, necessary. Are there any signs or symptoms that might indicate a specific need to be screened or to see a physician? So if you have what we call blue toe syndrome, which is where if you have a, a toe that turns blue and then suddenly becomes normal again after a day or two, um, uh, that would be a risk factor or, or definitely a, a, a sign that you may have an aneurysm. Um, if you have a swelling in your abdomen or if you have a sudden onset of abdominal pain um, that was unexplained, uh, you would certainly uh, uh, want to have it looked at uh, by your physician. What is carotid artery disease? Carotid artery disease is a blockage of the arteries that go to the brain. These arteries are located in your neck and um, feed the, uh, the brain and the face. And uh, generally, when there's a blockage of the artery that goes to the brain, your risk of stroke is, is elevated. What's involved in a screening test for carotid artery disease? Screening for carotid artery disease is a very simple process. A certified technologist will look uh, at the arteries directly with an ultrasound probe by pressing it gently up against your neck and um, looking at it in multiple different angles. It measures um, several different things. Blood flow, the, um, the, how smooth the blood is flowing, whether there's turbulence or not, and uh, if there's uh, also direct uh, imaging to identify the thickness of the plaque. Are there any signs or symptoms that might indicate a specific need to be screened or to see a physician? Carotid artery disease sometimes is not recognized until it was, it's too late. And that's why screening is a, is a very important uh, part of uh, identifying the disease. Um, if you have a TIA, otherwise known as transient ischemic attack, um, then that would be a definite sign to uh, not just be screened, but to have a, a dedicated full carotid ultrasound. Um, a TIA is uh, a condition where you have stroke symptoms for a limited amount of time and then revert back to normal. What is peripheral vascular disease, also known as peripheral arterial disease? Peripheral arterial disease is the buildup of plaque uh, in the arteries that supply your legs uh, predominantly. Sometimes uh, peripheral arterial disease uh, also affects your upper extremities, but uh, pr predominantly your legs. It's recognized most often whenever you develop a charley horse or pain in your legs uh, uh, when you walk a certain distance. Peripheral arterial disease is quite serious. It uh, can be easily treated in most cases. Um, however, uh, in some cases, uh, it does progress to uh, cause debilitating uh, disease that might lead to rest pain or potentially even amputation of your lower extremities. Limb loss is what we try to prevent by doing minimally invasive treatments to keep the arteries open in your legs. 
what's involved in a screening test for peripheral arterial disease. Screening for peripheral arterial disease is quite simple. We measure the blood pressures in your legs and your arms and we create a ratio and the, the ratio helps us determine if the uh, disease is bad enough to justify further testing. Does peripheral arterial disease just affect the extremities? If you have um, peripheral arterial disease or PAD, um, that's a, there's a strong association between that and coronary artery disease. So uh, you may have a, a more serious condition um, in your heart or carotid arteries uh, if you also have peripheral arterial disease. If you're interested in scheduling any or all of these vascular screenings, just give us a call at 304-526-1492.